Hi, I'm Francesca Farr. And Hi, I'm Andy Manzano, and you're, you're watching, watching Cosmo, Cosmo TV. TV. Isip ko kasi lang gusto ko lang maging singer. Tapos, lalo hindi ko inakala na magiging actress ako. Uh, Nag-try akong mag-audition sa Emir, yung musical. Nagulat ako kasi nakuha ako doon. After ko kasi nag-Emir, parang nagustuhan ko yung, yung pag-arte. Na na-realize ko na masaya pala siya. Tsaka siguro hindi ko palang na-embrace noon yung, yung talent ko sa pag-arte. Dahil nahihiya ako, ganun. Pero na-enjoy ko pala siya. Parang kung paano ko na-enjoy yung pagkanta, nagiging masaya din ako sa acting. Siyempre sa family ko, gusto ko silang matulungan. Siyempre gusto namin magkaroon ng mas, mas okay na pamumuhay, di ba? Pero hindi ko masyadong naiisip yun kapag nagtatrabaho na ako. Kasi um, ang nararamdaman ko is yung passion ko lang sa pagkanta. Yung passion ko sa pagkanta, sa pag-arte. Tapos, as long as nafe-feel ko na mahal ko yung ginagawa ko, I think um, hindi ko na naiisip yung ibang dahilan kung bakit, kung bakit ako nandito. Awa ko, siguro yung pagiging fun ko lang na, wala, yung personality ko lang na ganto lang, bata lang. Wala, siguro na sa personality ko lang din na i-enjoy yung buhay and Ayoko nung, medyo hindi ako sanay nung parang KJ, gano'n. So gusto ko yung, sige, go lang. Kung ano lang yun nandyan, sige lang, sige lang. Uh, siguro yung pagiging fearless yung adventures akong tao. Medyo mahilig ako sa mga extreme sports. Kumakanta ako sa stage, hindi siya nakikita eh. Kasi, di ba, babaeng babae, gano'n. Pero kapag ka, <laughs> pagka nakilala na nila ako, ano ako, um, adventures akong tao. Gusto ko yung, gusto ko yung mga exciting nag- Gawain. It started when Mo came back to the Philippines and uh, they needed a girl in their show. So I met, I met them and uh, I boarded with them for three weeks and then they liked me and apparently that's how I got hired. And yeah, it started out from there. And then uh, when, it came, when it comes to TV, I auditioned for um, uh, the MTV VJ Hunt. So after that, it was continuous. No, but I would do commercials and all that, but I never saw myself where I am now. I always wanted to be behind the camera. I wanted to deal with production. I wanted to write scripts and do concepts and be, uh, be the creative behind everything. But apparently I'm here in front of the camera. And I think it was just through time that I was able to, you know, learn the art of hosting, you know, learn radio, learn how to talk. And I mean, as young as you are, and no matter what age you are, I think you can still do what you want to do. And uh, it doesn't matter what people say, because a lot of times on the radio, you know, like, you get a lot of good comments, but when you get one, it just like, it kind of hurts your feelings. I'm like, wow, this person thought of me this way. And many times, um, like, I've cried on air many times. <laughs> Trust me, because I feel bad about it, but you know, it helped me grow and there's, there are certain people in your life that will put you down and say you can't do it, you know, just kind of like prove them wrong and it becomes a challenge at the same time. Rather than believing in them, you kind of prove to them that, you know, just do the opposite, just, it's a challenge. Actually, I just knew that I was saying that I was going to be noted by the readers. So, I was like, wow, really? Really? I didn't even know that there are so many readers who really wanted to see their Cosmo in the magazine. I was kind of new in the showbiz, so I didn't expect that all the people, many people, would be interested in me as Francesca Farr. So, I was like, wow, really? 
talaga nagulat ako na vinote nila ako. You know what? Right now, it's kind of still starting to just sink in. <laughs> I mean, um, it's such an honor and it's such a blessing that you know people recognize what you're doing. Because usually on radio, you're in a box and you don't see the people or. Because it's not like when you're hosting, you see thousands of people, or on TV, you see yourself, you know, there, there's audience. But on, but on radio, you're just in a box and you're talking to your partner. And you don't know if there are people listening to you because you're so used to it. So it's nice that, you know, you, like I feel appreciated <laughs> with the things that I'm doing. So yeah, thank you. Like, it's such an honor.